All right, all right, all right. Okay, shall we do this? We're gonna mix a song today. And the song we were mixing today, hopefully my mic doesn't bleed through the speakers or the audio from the speakers doesn't bleed through the mic and all that jazz. Because I'm not using headphones because I can't mix with headphones. I think that's stupid. We're mixing this song today. I made it yesterday. It's not finished. I just started doing it, but it's some something like this. It, this might be loud, so bear with me. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Yes, we're gonna do something with that today. I'm gonna play around with it. So what I wanna do is I wanna save this because this is actually mixed and it's, I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna save a new one called Twitch Mix. I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna delete all the plugins I have on this. So it's gonna sound like shit. We can start over. Actually, let me stop. I'm just gonna delete all the plugins here. On every channel. Just to be sure. We can keep this, though. That's just a snare reverb, so I'm gonna keep that. Take this out. Uh, room stuff. Room stuff. The drum bus. This is just drum reverbs, we can keep that, we're just gonna lower that for now. Bass DI gone. Bass amp gone. And this is the bass I'm so focused, it's so disturbing. I have all these kinds of guitars. Let's just remove all the plugins from it. Uh, some basic information, I'm using samples as my drums because I live in an apartment so I can't record drums in here. Makes sense, huh? Yeah, it does. And, um, no, delete everything. I'm using my Kemper. This is just basic hits, bombs and rises and stuff, so that doesn't have anything. Um... I'm using my Kemper profiling amp to record uh, bass and guitar with my PRS Custom 24S2 guitar is my main mamba jamba. That's the one I played with. This tune is this song is tuned to uh, D sharp, I think. Don't remember. Doesn't matter, yeah, you know? right? Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna set this all to how it was before I started. Like that. And I'm gonna keep the fake mastering chain on my master bus because I actually use fake mastering chain while I'm mixing. Because um, that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? No, but. Um, uh, I like mixing with the fake mastering because it, it gives me a basic idea of how the song is going to sound like when it's finished. Which is a good thing. So, I'm just going to do this. Alright, so we're starting from scratch here. Uh, these faders that are still at Unity Gain is the bus. Buses. All the different types of series. So let's go through what we have here. What do we what do we have in uh, we can actually take this out too because I deleted that. Um this is the this is the drums, the drum track. And it consists of MIDI. 
there is some MIDI drums. And I'm using the uh, Null Get Good drums for my drum sound because I love the plugin. It's the best drum plugin I, I've used in quite a while. So I'm using that. Uh, for those of you who wonder, I'm using the Medium Snare and the 22 times 16 Kick. I also have Snate Sample for the um, snare drum because it felt like I needed some more stuff in my snare. So I'm using um, Snare 12, old diggy but goody, and a Snare Keplinger from uh, the Blackbird library. Alright, so let's get it uh, going with um, start off with drum sound because that's the thing I always don't start, start out with. So I want to, this is the snare from Slate. I'm going to keep that at zero for now and I'm going to bring that in uh, once I have a basic drum mix going on with uh, Get Good. So let's listen to drums. Let's solo in here on this section. Let's go. So this is the basic drums with nothing on it. And I think it sounds pretty good. But we're gonna do some stuff too. So let's start with overheads. Let's use SSL G channel plugin. And let's get rid of some of the low end. Can't hear anything. So there is a low end. We don't want that. That's better. Let's get rid of some bulk. There we have it. Bye bye. Uh, let's get rid of some nastiness. Let's put some highs. That's better, and I tend to use an L1 on the, oh, not one of this weird, to get the snare out of the overheads. Kind of like that. Alright, so we have the overheads cleaned up. Just so you know, I'm gonna do a pretty fast mixing of this so bear with me if you have any questions feel free to type it out in chat and I see if I can answer it as soon as possible uh, but I'm gonna try to speed this up and I'm gonna do this mix in less than an hour and it's gone 18 and a half minutes so far so let's keep going I'm gonna do um, once I have overheads done I'm gonna do kick snare toms and lastly room and lastly the drum bus so here we go it's gonna be fast Hopefully. If you have any questions, just feel free to let me know, and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. What I did there was um, I did a low pass to get rid of, oh, uh, sorry, high pass to get rid of some low end rumbling that I don't need. Uh, a boost around 45, 50 hertz area. A cut where some of the stuff I don't like lives, and I'm gonna do like that too. Uh, I actually like the 
600 hertz area of this kick and I think it's going to fill out a nice spot there so I'm going to keep it and I uh, took out some of the clickiness of the metal kick because I don't really like that for this song and I boosted some uh, high highs to get an even curve I want to have like the highs circle around the same area as the lows so you take a look here it's almost there we can even boost any more so. I like that. Alright, and we need some saturation for that bitch. Otherwise it's gonna sound like shit. It's my favorite go-to for saturation. Compensate by lowering the volume a bit. Let's end that with um, some tape emulation. See what we have. We have a kick preset. It's kind of good. Yeah, that's good. All right, all lights. Let's take out the ring of the snare because we all hate that ring. Here, woom woom. It's like a solid tone. So let's find that pitch. There it is. Do you hear it? If I bypass the plugin, it's there. I can hear another one too, so. Oh, wrong cue. There it is. There it is. Let's kill that too. Alright, let's clean out some. Uh, let's see here. We want to boost some of the mids. Oh, sorry. The lows. Like that. Clean out the mids so just a tiny bit. Let's put some highs to it. Not too much. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Need a compressor on that as well. I'm gonna reach for my go to. This brings out the. Uh, I don't know what it brings out, but it sounds amazing. <laughs> Listen to this. It's way too much, I know. So I'm gonna lower the attack and lower the threshold as well. Just a tiny bit. Without. And with. That's good. Alright, let's carry on. We need some uh, distortion in this as well. And I'm going to use, this is uh, actually the SSL emulation. This is Neve, but I'm going to use SSL here. Let's finish off with the tape, tape emulation because it's a tiny bit pokey right now and I don't want that. It's on the distortion, sorry. That's good. All right. I can hear bad ringing tone in the in the rooms, so I need to address that right away. Sorry. It's a snare. There it is. There's some low end rumbling as well. Let's high pass that too. I bet there is the uh, same stuff in the in the far room. This is a near room. It's like the mic is really close to the drum set. 
And we have far room, which is far away from the drum set. This has the same problem as well, I can hear. Let's boost so we can hear it. Alright, we need to compress the rooms as well. Uh, the near room I want to destroy completely, so we're gonna do that really basic with um, 1176 style compressor, blue channel. Let's crank it. Crank it. Even more. Yeah. Good enough. I'm gonna be a tiny bit more subtle on this other room. Let's take a look at the room. Turn off the analog emulation. That's good. Alright, let's take a look at the uh, toms here. We we'll have some toms over here, I guess. Yeah, we have some toms there. Let's zoom in on the toms. This is toms. SSL will be perfect for this. So I'm gonna use the SSL plugin. Plugin. Get rid of this. Sounds amazing, right? Let's use um, C4 on this. Feels like it needs it. Like I need it in my life. So bad. Quick attack. Release. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, we need to some hi hat love in this pitch. There's almost no hi hat in this. Uh, all the hi hat is in the overhead. That's weird. I'm gonna keep it like that. Alright, let's bring in this. Um, let's take a look at the slate sample. So ring in this as well, so I'm gonna take that out. There it is. That's enough. And I'm gonna use this as a clean sample, so I'm not gonna compress it with anything, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Just blend it in with the rest of the kit. Without it. With it. That's good. And we have a... Um, snare verb. I used a plugin called, uh, what the fuck is it called? Ver Verbigate? Ver Verbigate? Is this. I actually have a limit, uh, unlimited free demo, so you can download it for free and use it. It's great. 
sounds amazing. And uh, for the overall drum reverb, I'm gonna use uh, Arverb on Waves. Sounds like this. Brings the meat to the table. Just make sure you cut out, cut out the rumbling thing. Blend it in with a kick. Kit. Because I'm going for the big arena rock sound. Let's work on the drum bass now. Compression. Not too much though. Perfect. Actually, put the SSL EQ as well and raise some of the like ones. This and some highs. And get out some 400 hertz from it. Right, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Next up is the bass. Need to bring on the bass. So this is the DI track, and I have a copy of the DI track here. Why is it so low? Oh yeah, okay. Let's take a listen to this instead. Here we go. It's the same as this. So I'm gonna put a amp simulator on one of the the um, one of the tracks and I'm gonna keep this as the core bass sound so I'm gonna do it like this yes for a sub need to compress that with I have a chain I like to use start with this no, no, let's load up the base preset. Increase it some more. More compression. There we go. 3A after that. We want the bass line in rock songs to be like solid, no high jumps or whatsoever or whatsoever yeah all right so next track bring it in give it a high cut on let's say 500 we need some mids still and let's put some uh, distortion on this pitch do we have any bass sounds here No, I'm not satisfied with that, so I'm going to use this instead. Alright, we need to bring this down just a tiny bit. Needs to get some more mids. Go to 250 instead. Let's compress the bass bus as well. Finish.
finish off with L1 to keep it steady. Perfect, let's listen to that with the drums. Let's EQ that some tiny bit. Way too much. High end or low end. Right. Now we're gonna work on the guitars. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so let's listen to one of them. Or is it or they are our same uh, what's it called? Same amp settings. So just four different parts. I, I'm playing the same thing but four different times so there's one 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 and one so what we can do is actually um, work on them all on the same bus but I want to uh, apply some compression to it so I'm going to do that first Okay, I don't really, I don't really need to do too much. I'm just going to do some minor EQing and uh, some multiband compression to it. Doing this, we can actually keep some of the low end of the guitars. That's fine. Let's put that in context with the bass and. Um, drums put some L1 to it to control it all right actually the rhythm guitar isn't supposed to uh, take over the song just needs to complement it so Actually, the big part of this song is the melody and the synths. So let's bring in the synths. See what we can do with that. See what we have first. We have this one first. We have this. The two different arps. We have more like uh, orchestral string type shit here. I love it. 
And we have a distortion piano, distorted piano. Distorted, distorted piano is really something. Uh, if we take out uh, these things and listen to the piano by itself without any plugins. Interesting. We started with EQ. Which actually doesn't do anything, so we can take that out. And I put some GTR stomp box at it to get some distortion. Just an overdrive. But that's what I wanted it to do. Some delay to it. Too much delay though, so we're gonna lower that to 70%. Some uh, imager to make it wider, it's a tiny bit. Some big ass reverb. Some multi band compression. Limiter to raise the level. This doesn't do anything either, so. Let's bring up that with this again. Right, so what I want to do here is multi band compression just to control it. So I'm going to use. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's on the dynamics, of course. Not on compression. EQ. There it is. What this does is it just controls so you don't get too much bass and stuff like that. Before and after. Perfect. Let's put that into context. Alright, so what we have left now is the lead. We have two separate lead tracks here. We're gonna treat those as well. EQ first. Delay. Fifty percent. Ping pong. Maybe a bit too much. That's good. Let's listen to this. It's going to be way louder though. Bring out the limiter. Alright, that's good. Uh, these motherfuckers right here is just some tiny explosion parts 
Let's listen to this. How do they sound? Yeah. Works quite well. It's uh, just for impact. Let's listen to it again because I like it. Combination of one, two, three, four, five stuff. So I my favorite is actually this glass thing. If we mute this event. Just for one second here. <laughs> Sounds like this. Beautiful. So what I did was I reversed it, put it in front of it like a build up. So what we have is this. Which kind of cool. We have a crash. We have a rice bomb. Sweet. Normal rice. And a single normal hit. Cool. And that together sounds like this. What that sounds like with the music is kind of cool. Let's listen to it. Verse. So I'm not finished with this verse yet. Uh, I need to put more stuff to it, and I don't really know what to put here exactly yet. But same with this. This is like the bridge. Like <laughs> need to be some stuff here, but I don't know what I'm gonna put here just yet. So I'm gonna figure it out later on, but not today. And chorus. Cool. So you see, I have the rhythm guitar way pull, way, 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 way down, because I have this thing that keeps it up. Lips the song. Here's second verse, and I need to think of something here as well. And we have a. Um, <coughs> Sorry, here's like a break before uh, we have a tiny solo section here. Solo guitars, so just a quick listen to that. See what that sound like. Cool, cool. Alright, so this is like a um, break section over here, where um, I have like, uh, here's the chorus, oh, sorry, this part is the chorus, this is like the tail chorus, like a second chorus, so it goes from chorus into this like next bit, so I change it up after the first chorus. Second chorus, like... So, so I do this to prepare for the breakdown that comes. Yeah. I'm gonna add here. I'm not gonna use the uh, toms from the kick. From the normal kit, I'm gonna use like a massive 
cinematic um, toms later on. But I'm having this so I will remember how it's going to sound. I want to have more like boom, boom, really big, and it crashed. Cool. This happens sometimes with con Contact Five. We can put that to the side as for long, as far as now. The only problem is it's, it's going to sound a bit weird, but it still works. That, folks, is how you do a quick rock mix in like 30 minutes. I mean, this is a really fast mix, like a first mix. Uh, what I want to do later on is get in, dig into details, really perfect this mix. Do some automations uh, where I maybe raise the bass like a dB louder during the chorus and stuff like that. And uh, make stuff wider during the chorus and uh, stuff like that. But, um, I mean, since this crashed, I guess this... Uh, my cue stop here i made a promise i did a pretty good mix within an hour so uh, i'm happy with that so if you want more uh, make sure you follow me on twitch and make sure you subscribe to my youtube sa channel i have more stuff there so just go and search for rusty notes tv if you're watching this on twitch so thank you everybody for watching and see you next time peace crash do you want to stop working? Bye.